Hi, I'm Adam Yenser, and welcome to the Cancelled News, violating the rules of the Disinformation Governance Board since 2022. Please be sure to like and subscribe. I'm at 4,230 followers right now, so how fast you all click that button will determine whether I walk or run to 5K. And come see me live with Cam Bertrand at the Looney Bin in Oklahoma City, May 11th to 14th. I took last week off because I was visiting Penn State to accept the philosophy department's Distinguished Alumni Award. It was a great honor, and I was even able to speak with some of the current students and graduates in the Sparks Building, which is located on Pollock Road. Now here's what's in the news. This past week, Japan's Kane Tanaka, the last living person still waiting for James Cameron's Avatar sequel, passed away at 119. A warrant has been issued for Alabama Corrections Officer Vicki White, who ran off with prison inmate Casey White. Like most Alabama couples, they had the same last name before their relationship began. A leaked draft decision from the Supreme Court suggests that justices will overturn Roe v. Wade. And now, much like a baby, the left is trying to kill the decision before it even has a chance. Basically, the left insisted men can't have an opinion on abortion because it's a woman's issue and men can't get pregnant. Then the left insisted that men can get pregnant and that there's no definition of woman. Then abortion got overturned and now the left is mad. If abortion is outlawed by some states, abortion doctors could be arrested, charged, and sent to this place, which is just a clump of cells. <laughs> In lieu of impending restrictions, Amazon announced that it will reimburse employees up to $4,000 if they need to travel to get an abortion. And for $450,000, Jeff Bezos will fly them to orbit for a space abortion. It's still unknown how Political obtained this draft decision on Roe v. Wade, as leaks from the Supreme Court are unprecedented. However, due to their age, leaks from Supreme Court justices are quite common. <laughs> I unfortunately experienced an unexpected leak of my own this week. Someone leaked to Politico that the ending of this week's episode will be where I do a joke about Dave Chappelle getting attacked on stage, then someone will attack me on stage, then me and my staff will beat the crap out of him for the rest of the episode. And the joke will be that he has a real gun taped to a fake knife instead of a real knife taped to a fake gun. Now, I don't know who was responsible for this leak, but it represents a singular and egregious breach of the trust between me and the one other person who works here. To the extent that this betrayal was intended to undermine the integrity of our operation, it will not succeed, but it will make the ending joke less funny when it happens. <laughs> the annual White House press correspondence dinner was held last Thursday, where Daily Show host Trevor Noah tried his hand at comedy for a change. He actually did really well, and Pete Davidson was there to ensure that Trevor Noah was the funniest person in the room. <laughs> Dr. Burks said the U.S. should prepare for another COVID surge down south, while Pete Davidson's girlfriends should prepare for a surge of all other diseases down south. <laughs> Sharon Osbourne announced that she and Ozzy both have COVID, so bats may finally get their revenge. This Wednesday was Star Wars Day when fans say, May the Fourth be with you. Then a week later, Eastern Orthodox Star Wars fans celebrate May the 11th be with you. <laughs> then they get drunk for Dose de Mayo, if they're done with Easter by that point. I think someone might still be celebrating. A wild turkey has been attacking people on a walking path in Washington, D.C. Wildlife experts think the aggressive turkey is trying to mate with Mitch McConnell's neck. Nancy Pelosi, Adam Schiff, and several other prominent Democrats made a secret trip to Kiev to meet with Volodymyr Zelensky. This marks Nancy Pelosi's first secret trip since she violated the lockdowns to get her hair did. An ex-KGB agent said that Vladimir Putin is likely suffering from the early stages of dementia. He made his assessment by comparing it to Joe Biden's late-stage dementia. Scientists have found that seven hours is the ideal amount of sleep for older people to stay healthy followed by 5 a.m. breakfast at Cracker Barrel, then 10 hours of Judge Judy reruns. That's what Putin and Biden need to help their dementia. Greyhound racing may soon disappear completely in the United States after one of the last three remaining Greyhound tracks closed this week. One critic described it as disgusting, cruel, and outdated. Then said, oh, you meant Greyhound racing. I thought you meant Greyhound buses. Due to a fertilizer shortage, a French engineer has suggested a way to use human urine to feed crops. 
Ew, that's disgusting, said millions of people who only eat food fertilized by animal feces. A funeral in Peru was interrupted when the dead woman banged on the inside of her coffin and said she was still alive. She was survived by a husband, three children, and herself. After, <laughs> after realizing their mistake, funeral goers killed her and continued. During a show at the Hollywood Bowl, Dave Chappelle was attacked on stage by a man wielding a knife taped to a fake gun. It was the closest anyone's come to dying on stage at the Hollywood Bowl since every time John Williams performs. Fuck you, John Williams, your fucking mouth. Fuck get him, get him. It, it was a trans man. Uh, a new memoir claims that Donald Trump suggested shooting George Floyd protesters in the leg. So this may be the one issue where he and Joe Biden actually agree. It's something he suggested also. A conservative politician ugh, in the UK resigned after admitting to watching porn in parliament on two separate occasions. He was caught when another British politician spotted Dick. <laughs> Longhorn Steakhouse named employee Gail Dudley Grillmaster legend for grilling her millionth steak. Congrats, Gail, on a job not well done. All right, all right, thanks, man. I think we got him. Man, that was a scary attack. Uh, here's the weapon he was holding. It's a real gun attached to a fake knife. 